week. So today, high temperatures in the low 70s. By the end of the week, temperatures will be in the mid 80s. So all in all, a very nice uh, way to kick off the first week in July. Here's a live look outside. You can see the Columbia River traffic starting to pick up over the interstate bridge and clouds up above. We have had some pockets of drizzle up in Clark County this morning and in the Cascade foothills. Here's what it looks like from the Skamania Lodge. Plenty of clouds there at the west end of the gorge and out along the coast. Here's what it looks like in Lincoln City. A really nice start to the day. Few breaks in the clouds. So this morning, mostly cloudy skies, overcast conditions, still mostly cloudy, I think, west of the Cascades at noontime, but we will break into some sunshine this afternoon eventually, 70 at 3 o'clock. Skies mainly clear at sunset tonight. So here's the 8 this morning. You'll notice a few speckles there on the map west of the mountains. Those are pockets of drizzle. East of the Cascades, bright sunshine and wind throughout the day. Here's 6 o'clock in the evening. We've cleared out in the Willamette Valley. Still some clouds in southwest Washington and along the north coast. Here's tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. We have rinse and repeat, kind of the same deal what we're seeing today, except for clouds won't be as widespread. Most of the clouds north of Salem tomorrow, and they're gone in a hurry. Mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. That's 4.30 in the afternoon Tuesday, and here comes the 4th of July. So early on the 4th of July, all kinds of things going on. I know a lot of communities have parades, including Lake Oswego. There's also the pancake feed in Lake Oswego early on. So uh, plenty of things. St. Paul also has a parade in the morning. Looks like bright sunshine, temperatures in the 60s. We'll be in the 70s by lunchtime, but you will notice those high clouds increasing throughout the afternoon on the 4th of July. That will act to kind of keep the warm temperatures in in for the 4th of July evening. So dry weather throughout looks like a really nice day and quite warm too. So if you're headed to the St. Paul Rodeo on the 4th, 78 degrees at 1 o'clock, high clouds moving in. We'll be mostly cloudy, I think, at 7 o'clock in the evening, but temperatures will be in the low 80s. And then we're talking low 70s at fireworks time there in St. Paul.